all players. So more Fruffy Dust allies bite the dust. I declare. Now for Kenny Cheeseboro, if he's convicted, he's going to be a second time felon. Y'all go ahead and grab your tea and have a seat, honey, because there are three that have been indicted and charged with forgery in Wisconsin in connection with the big lie. I declare, honey. What a disgrace. So the Wisconsin Attorney General announced that he's charged three of Frumpy Dump's allies with that fake elector scheme to keep Frumpy Dump in office following his 2020 election loss. Now, those three include Mike Roman, who was a Frumpy Dump campaign head of election day operations. Also, Kenneth Cheeseboro, who was an attorney who struck a plea deal with prosecutors in a separate 2020 election case in Georgia. That's the RICO case. Also, James Tropis, who was a former judge and Frumpy Dump campaign attorney. Um, he was also charged in connection with the fake elector scheme. Um, Cheeseboro, Roman, and Tropis are all charged with felony forgery. According to court documents, they are charged for their role in getting a slate of pro Frumpy Dump electors to sign paperwork attesting falsely that Frumpy Dump had won uh, Wisconsin in the 2020 election, although he lost. So according to the court documents, honey, this is a thick scheme. They say that Jim and Kenneth traveled by chartered jet to Washington for a meeting with Frumpy Dump in the Oval Office on December 16, 2020. Two days later, Jim wrote to Kenneth that nothing about our meeting with the president can be shared with anyone. Then the day after Christmas, Kenneth wrote back to uh, Jim uh, that one way to delay Congress certification of the Electoral College results on January 6, 2021 would be to have then Vice President Pissy Pence to decline to open the official elector forms verifying their state's results from Georgia, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin. And he continued by saying, obviously, the discussion of such tactical operations is highly confidential. In a later message cited by prosecutors, Kenneth wrote on January 4, 2021, that Mike Roman is the guy on top of delivering the fake elector slates to Congress. A law student then flew to meet Kenneth in Washington on January 5th. A law student then wrote to Cheeseboro, five minutes until I make the drop. I feel like a drug dealer. I declare, honey, what a disgrace. Now, Cheeseboro, who is an attorney, and Jim, who is a former judge, recently settled a lawsuit related to the fake elector scheme in Wisconsin that resulted in the release of more than a thousand pages of emails and text messages, but neither of them admitted any liability or culpability for the scam. The release documents reveal more information about the scheme in Wisconsin and 10 of the fake electors in the Badger State admitted as a part of litigation in December that President Joe Biden won the state in 2020. I declare, honey, I've said it once and I'm going to say it again. Chicken is coming home to roost has never made me mad. In fact, it only made me glad. Players, put your thoughts in the comments. Let me know what you're thinking. This is your girl, Double D Mover, reporting once again for the Black Accurate News.